Hello class, this is a lecture about rhetorical analysis, tone, audience, and purpose in texts. These are the course outcomes for English 100. These were in your syllabus, so you've seen them before. If you'd like to read them again, hit pause on your video right now and then just read them through. These are the goals for the whole course. You can see that we are focused on CSLO number three, which is about critical thinking. And we are focusing on the part that says recognizing tone, audience, and purpose in texts. What is tone? In literature, tone is the attitude or approach that the author takes toward the work's central theme or subject. Works of literature can have many different types of tone, such as humorous, solemn, distant, intimate, ironic, arrogant, condescending, sentimental, and so on. Any emotion that humans can feel can be an example of tone in literature. One way of thinking about tone is that it's the mood or feeling of something. Sample text for rhetorical analysis. So here's a little meme. So you can analyze the tone for anything. It seems like the tone here is uplifting or inspirational or celebratory. Here's a different meme with a different tone. To me, it seems annoyed, angry, maybe defiant, but you can decide what you think. Audience. So who does the person want to reach who made this meme? Who is the intended audience? So that's a matter of interpretation. You could say all women, women who want to speak up, possibly black women, or fans of Oprah Winfrey. So it's a matter of interpretation. So you're guessing who the speaker wanted to reach. Purpose in rhetorical analysis. Purpose is the author or communicator's reason for speaking. What that person wants to accomplish. Sample purposes to inform, to persuade, to motivate action, convince you to do something, to make you laugh. And if you want, you can look up purpose at the Purdue Online Writing Lab. Purpose. We don't know exactly what the person who made this image had in mind as a purpose. So we're analyzing, we're doing an interpretation. So to me, it looks like it might be something like purpose to inspire, to make women feel powerful, to encourage women to speak up. But maybe there's some other interpretation that would be just as good. Sometimes purpose and audience are very concrete and specific, and you really can tell exactly what it is. So look at this campaign ad from Biden. Here the purpose is really clear, and the audience is really clear too. The audience is voters in Pennsylvania. The purpose is to get Pennsylvania voters to vote for Biden and get Trump out of office. So sometimes purpose and audience are pretty clear given the context. But other times purpose and audience are not so obvious. Take a moment to look at this meme. In this case, you really have to think about it a bit. Is the audience people who shop in the girls section of a store? Um, is the purpose maybe to, to encourage girls to be astronauts? I don't know, but it's not so obvious as the other one. 
So it takes interpretation. In the discussions for this week, you will analyze some things for tone, audience, and purpose. So this meme here will be one of your choices. Or you might analyze this one. And then in the second discussion, you will analyze educated itself, or at least a certain passage in it. So that's kind of where we're headed. We want to be able to read a book like Educated and see the tone, the audience, and the purpose. Finally, thanks to this article for providing the feminist memes.